Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving a really nice system of equations. Now in order to solve this system of equations we need to use a smart trick and actually that's the reason I'm making this video because this smart trick is worth noticing. So let's go ahead and talk about that but before we go on consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and smash the like button if you enjoy watching this. So we are given that x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 4 and 2x squared minus 5xy plus 3y squared equals 6 and we're supposed to solve for x and y. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about a smart trick that we need to solve this. Let's go ahead and talk about ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared equals 0. Let's go ahead and talk about how to solve this and find a relation between x and y. Now the special thing about this equation is that the right hand side of this equation is 0. So in order to solve this we need to go ahead and do something smart and that is dividing both sides by y squared. In that way we will have ax squared over y squared plus bxy divided by y squared plus c times y squared over y squared equals 0 over y squared. Now clearly this will simplify to something like a times x over y quantity squared plus b times x over y plus c equals 0. Now, notice that we can go ahead and replace this x over y with something like t. So, if you do that, we will have a quadratic equation in terms of t. And then, we can easily solve this for t using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2 times a. And this gives us a nice relation between x and y. So as I said before, the special thing about this equation is that the right hand side of this equation is 0, but in our system of equation the right hand sides are 4 and 6. So we need to do something smart to get rid of this 4 and 6 and have zeros on the right hand side of the equations or the equation. So we have x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 4 and we have 2 times x squared minus 5xy plus 3y squared equals 6. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the first equation by 3 to get 12 on the right hand side. And then I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2 to get 12 on the right hand side. And then I'm going to subtract one of the equations from the other one to get 0 on the right hand side. So if we do that, we will have 3x squared minus 9xy plus 12y squared equals 12 and 4x squared minus 10xy plus 6y squared equals 12. So we have 12 on the right hand sides of the equations and now I'm going to go ahead and say that this is equation number one and this is equation number two and I'm going to subtract equation number one from number two to get x squared minus xy plus 6y squared equals 0. So now we have 0 on the right hand side and this gives us the ability to use the smart trick in order to find a relation between x and y. So we need to go ahead and divide both sides by y squared to get something like x over y quantity squared minus x over y plus 6 equals 0. Now we can go ahead and replace x divided by y with t to get t squared minus t plus 6 equals 0. Now at this point we can use the quadratic formula to solve for t 
but we can also use factoring to solve for t. So we can factor this as t minus 3 times t plus 2, and then we can solve this for t, and we will have t equals 3, or t equals negative 2. Now remember that t is x over y, therefore x over y either equals 3, which means that x equals 3 times y, or x over y equals negative 2, which means that x equals negative 2y. So we have two scenarios. We have two different relations between x and y. And now we can go ahead and talk about both of them. So first of all, let's assume that x equals 3 times y. And at this point, let's go ahead and take one of the equations of the given system of equations. So I'm going to take the first one, which is x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 4. And then I'm going to replace x with 3y. So we will have 9y squared minus 9y squared plus 4y squared equals 4. And from this, I will have 4y squared equals 4, which gives us y squared equals 1, which gives us y equals positive or negative 1. Notice that x equals 3 times y, which gives us two things. First of all, x equals positive or negative 3. And second of all, x times y is something positive, which means that x and y have the same signs, which means that our solutions are 3 comma 1 and negative 3 comma negative 1. So we cannot have something like 3 comma negative 1, right? We don't have four solutions, we have two solutions. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the second scenario where x equals negative 2y. Again, we know that x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 4. And we can replace x with negative 2y to get 4y squared plus 6y plus 4y squared equals 4, which gives us 14y squared equals 4 which gives us y squared equals 4 over 14. And then y is going to be positive or negative 2 over square root of 14. Now, notice that x is equal to negative 2y. Therefore, x is going to be positive or negative 4 divided by square root of 14. And x times y is something negative, which means that x and y have different signs. Therefore, our solutions are negative 4 divided by square root of 14 comma 2 over square root of 14 and 4 over square root of 14 comma negative 2 over square root of 14. So again, we have two solutions and not four solutions. And we have a total of four solutions for our system of equations. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and smash the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.